Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I have... Let me get my foot out here. All right. This is Tuesday, April 14th. It's 10, 10 a.m. And... Um, th for those of you who think that Steve Denoon's sources are always wrong well uh this is i this caught my eye over here while i was watching something else over here which i also want to share it is so very uplifting but i it just said must see interview and i saw celeste's face so i thought it was her video and i clicked on it and it's her having an interview with Steve and his wife. Now, if any of you don't know who Celeste, I forget her last name, I looked in his list here of what is in the, the what do you call it, description box, and all he has is, we have Celestia's Patreon account, and then there's, all right, let me just click on that. I don't, well, I don't want to leave this channel. Never mind. Um, anyway, uh, this, someone had sent me a link to her, a video of hers before. I did not realize this woman worked for FEMA. And she was not his source, but she is another source. His source is a presidential advisor to the president. And I want you to just listen to this for a minute. Yes. Yes. Uh, so. Well, let, let me just okay, throw in a ahead. thought here while we're on this. Um, I have one of uh, the president's advisors is a, a, an individual I speak with on a regular basis. Well, I say right off and on. And a lot of people were shocked when I revealed that he had told me, uh, and this has been a little over a week ago now, uh, that the president was no longer in power, that he'd been removed from power, and that, uh, uh, that of course, there was... And you can't see it, but she's shaking her head like this. She works for FEMA. Okay. There was a body that had replaced him, and he said that... Oddly enough, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Henry Kissinger, as he said, would have the joystick to the fighter pilot plane uh, controlling all of this. So it almost seemed outlandish to a lot of people that I said this. And uh, But he also confirmed what you're saying. Um, and he said this kind of started earlier than they were planning. Uh, but it, the Pandora box is already opened. And as he stated to me as well, it will never be the same again. And uh, he said, we'll start with a global reset, and then it'll just kind of have a domino effect uh, of the events, and they're using it also for targeted disarming. Uh, he said they want to do it in a way to where the public doesn't know they're trying to disarm them, allow the events to be created, and then go forward. So okay. I just wanted to share that. As much as... People might want to believe that everything's going back. Now, this is 57 minutes long. I admit I have not listened to the whole thing. I've listened to this much. So, you've heard the last little bit of what I heard. The first part was her telling how she got saved at five in a Jewish family. Somebody shared about Jesus to her. She accepted him as her Savior, believed in him. And that started, you know, if you can imagine an Orthodox Jewish family having a five-year-old telling them, Jesus is a Savior. <laughs> I can only imagine. Well, anyway, so she starts off with that part of her story and then gets into how she did uh, something else and then got into medicine and then ended up joining FEMA to help people and she helped with 
9-11 and Katrina. So she's seen a lot. And she didn't get into any conspiracy theories or what negative things she saw. She just left it at, I was there. I helped with that. Okay, now, the link to this video is, well, the video is called Must See Interview on Israeli News Live. And it's there if you want to watch it in the description box. Now, the one that I was watching before, let me back it up. This is, okay. this is what needs to happen all across okay. America. Okay, this channel is Honest News Network. <laughs> Got it in my email from Rose from, where did she move? Tennessee. She said, please tell them it's from Rose from Tennessee. Love you, Rose. Okay, so I clicked on the link. They're playing because he lives, I can face tomorrow. But it's in a foreign language. But the English words are on the bottom. And you see these people. I don't know where. Uh, I didn't catch where this was at. It, I just know that in his description box... Or maybe it was at the end of the video. There's those little boxes that come up at the end on some videos. I've yet to learn how to do that. Uh, it says something about Portugal version and another version. So anyway, I don't know what language this is. Maybe Spanish. This may be Mexico. But they look like Americans. So I don't think it's Mexico. I don't know where it is. There are palm trees. Um... But man, I got goosebumps. Now, when he starts talking, um, he says that verse, uh, he said, this needs to happen all over the world. And this needs to be shared all over the world. And I agree. But that verse about if my people who are called by my name will repent and turn from their wicked ways. I will turn and heal their land. Well, I honestly believe in my heart that many can certainly be saved yet, but America is doomed for destruction. It's in the Bible. Now, does that mean it has to happen right away? Depends on the people, I guess, and God's mercy. Maybe not till the end of the seven years tribulation. I don't know. But this land is spoken of in Jeremiah chapters 50 and 51. And it will be uninhabitable. This land will never return to the God bless America. Land of the free. Uh, God bless America. Land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Okay, you know the good old fashioned uh, American songs we used to sing. It's 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 not it's not going back to that. The new world order is has taken over. You can believe it or not, but how many more witnesses do you? need. I, I gave you the signature of Jimmy Carter, which oddly enough, that that whole thing only took place on the 12th, the 11th, and it was last week that the presidential advisor told Steve that the president was no longer in power. So the Illuminati had already taken over. That's three witnesses, right? The advisor, oh, and this woman, and the Jimmy Carter signing of 
the governor of Wyoming declaring state emergency. That alone would have been enough to get him out of power. FEMA now has the power over the United States, and that was all planned. None of it was coincidence. It didn't just happen in December, February, uh, you know, recently. This has all been planned. So we just have to accept it as hard as it is to accept. It should be thrilling. It should be thrilling to a true Christian. This means we're wrapping things up, folks, so we can go home. And I thoroughly believe the bride, or maybe it's the some others, comes back with their assignments to harvest the wheat, who go up later, hopefully not too much later. I'm hoping 40 days. 40 days is a time of um, testing, trial, uh, Jesus was in the desert 40 days. The Israelites were in the desert 40 years because they had to go through that tribulation and elders above the age 20 all had to die off because they lacked faith. So we know it can't be 40 years. It can't from the time of the first rapture. So 40 days makes a whole lot more sense. Anyway, for anybody who sees this that gets left behind, I want you to know you have a second chance. Read Revelation 7, 9. Isn't that something? 7, 9. And Jimmy Carter signed that thing into law in 1979 July 20th I think that's right or maybe it was June 20th anyway <laughs> that I don't guess the date matters but um it just that just came to me I'm going to end this here and I'm going to get these two videos linked you've got to see this one called repent church Repent, America. Rend your hearts, not your garments. Turn unto the Lord now. Okay? And it this one is from Honest News Network. Okay? All right. Um, did I tell you that this one where they're singing, they're playing the music, in the foreign language they're showing the English words at the bottom and there are at least I'm gonna guesstimate 50 people or more spaced at least 10 feet apart kneeling on concrete outside the church with their arms up singing this song this is church. They may not, they're not breaking the law. Whatever country this is, they clearly have the same orders as we do. And they're keeping their distance. A couple of them are kind of like, you know, like, they must have came with their parents. They look younger. There's a couple little children. They're sitting at their poles. Some are sitting at poles. Others are right up at uh, the building. Anyway, it's just awesome. How long could you kneel on your knees on concrete? There's an older woman. She's bowed with her head to the ground. I tell you, I'm sure she brought a pillow or something. That's what I would do. I would have to bring a padding or something. Or if I had to sit, I would sit. Sit against the building. Cross-legged and pray and praise. How I would love to do that.
And I hope you can say the same. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and myself and my computer. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, your devices, your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.